Hello, this is Professor Smith. Welcome to Research Methods in Criminal Justice. I'm making this brief video just to provide an overview of how to access our course online on Canvas and uh, just to provide some tips on how to navigate the course online. So this is the main page that you should see when you first log in, the home page, and you'll get a list of modules. I've created a module for literally every week in the course, so you can use these modules to navigate and see what the tasks are for the week. So this is the first module here, and you can see within it we have a course introduction, the financial aid activity, the syllabus, and uh, a biography page about me. And then down here is the article critique project module. I'll talk more about that in just a second. And then if we keep going down, you'll see here is the week one module. Okay, and this has um, all the material that you'll need for uh, the first week in the course. The easiest way to access this material is going to be through this uh, course introduction module. So we'll go ahead and start here. If you click on course introduction, it brings up this introductory page that has a list of all the tasks that you'll be responsible for this week. Okay, so you can read this on your own, but just hello, welcome to Research Methods, week one tasks. So here are the tasks for this week. Um, the first thing that you're going to want to do is complete the financial aid activity. So if you click on this, it actually takes you to the financial aid activity, which right now looks like it's locked because the course hasn't been opened yet. But anyway, by the time you see this, the course will be open. So you can click on this to complete the financial aid activity. You can click on this to uh, download the syllabus. Uh, you're going to want to read about the article critique project. So if we open this link, it takes you directly to the article critique module, which is always going to be available on the top of the page. And this has all the resources pertaining to the article critique project that uh, you'll be working on throughout the semester. So you'll want to also read chapter one in Maxfield and Babby. That's your textbook for the class. Uh, you'll want to read the PowerPoint lecture notes in the chapter one module. If we click on this, it'll open up the uh, week one chapter one module so you can download the PowerPoint lecture notes. And then here's some articles. You don't actually have to read these, but just skim through them and just get a sense of um, how academic journal articles and academic reports look. Okay, and go back. Um, and then you're going to want to take the chapter one practice quiz. So uh, there will be a quiz each week uh, that's available until Sunday at 11.59. And prior to taking the quiz, you can take unlimited practice quizzes. So here's how you access the practice quiz, and it's worth 10 points. It doesn't actually count towards your grade because it's a practice but this has unlimited attempts. So you can take this as many times as you want to familiarize yourself with the concepts that will be on the actual quiz. And then when you feel like you're ready to take the actual quiz, you can click on the link here to take the actual quiz, okay? Again, right now it's locked because the course hasn't been opened, but um, you'll see it has 25 questions, 50 minute time limit, it's worth 25 points, okay? Um, but before you take the actual quiz, make sure that you read the chapter in the textbook. Uh, make sure that you read all the um, lecture materials. And I'd probably uh, take the practice quiz a time or two. And finally, here are some supplementary virtual lectures. Um, so these are some videos that you can watch. Um, here's a video on finding academic articles at the UCF library. This will be for completing phase one of the article critique project. And here is a video about reading and understanding academic articles. This will also help you um, with the article critique project and, and also uh, just help you generally um, understand and digest academic journal articles. So that's pretty much it for week one. Um, we'll go back to the main page and you'll see that, as I said, I have a module for each week. So uh, there should be no mystery or ambiguity about what's going on each week.
Okay, so just follow the modules. Again, here's the article critique project module. Just go ahead and close it real quick. And then here's the week one module with the um, PowerPoint lecture notes, the uh, articles just for you to take a look at, and then the practice quiz and the actual quiz. Okay, and then week two will follow a similar format. Just a couple other things I want to draw your attention to real quick that you can access here in web courses. Um, the announcements page. So this is where I'll be posting announcements um, just about uh, upcoming due dates, um, any questions that students might have. Uh, here's just a little introductory announcement um, that you should have gotten an email about just welcoming you to the course and also uh, talking about the financial aid activity, the textbook we'll be using, my office hours, and so on. So you want to keep an eye on the announcements page, and I believe that you also get an email uh, when an announcement is sent. And the other page that you're going to want to take a look at is grades. So if you're ever curious to know how you're doing in the course, you can always look at your grades. Okay, now right now I'm in uh, a testing mode, so you, know, you don't see the, uh, an actual student here, but this would have your, your name. And then it would have the grades, um, so you'd have a score, and then out of how many points the assignment is worth. Okay, so you can always get a sense of what your grade is in the class and how you're doing. All right, these are all the assignments, and then it, it totals it up for you and provides you with a, uh, a final score. All right, so that's pretty much it. Again, probably the easiest way to navigate the course is going to be from the home page and then just follow the modules and just follow the modules week by week. If you have any questions, um, please feel free to send me an email and I would be happy to uh, address any questions and concerns that you may have. Uh, and that pretty much wraps it up for this tutorial. I will see you online.